Hello my fellow fasting friend, it's Jackie and today I'm going to share with you my 9 month update. I have been intermittent fasting for 9 full months every single day. I know I've said this in other videos but bottom line I still love it and I think it is such a wonderful lifestyle that I will probably maintain for the rest of my life. I just don't see stopping. So this morning is an update for me. I had a down day yesterday. That means I ate 500 calories only. I have videos on that. I will link them at the end of this. But yesterday I ate 500 calories after I fasted 18 hours. Then I fasted again until today where I can have an update. But I weighed myself and I weighed in at 150.4 pounds. So that means I have officially lost over 30 pounds. I started this journey with intermittent fasting at 181 at least. I, I know it was at least 181. I'm, I wasn't too good at record keeping mainly because I didn't want to know at the beginning. Um, I also had lost weight earlier in 2020, but it was before I did intermittent fasting. The intermittent fasting lifestyle is really what took off and was something that I not only enjoyed, but I saw results from and something that I could do for the rest of my life. So I have officially crossed that 30 pound mark and I'm super proud of myself and ecstatic with the results. So even better than the results, I absolutely love every single day because I have found something that works for me that doesn't feel like a punishment. It doesn't feel like I'm starving myself. I don't really feel like it's super sacrificial. So the fact that I am seeing really good results, I feel amazing and something that I don't ever feel like I'm going to have to quit or eventually gain the weight back, I consider intermittent fasting just really a wonderful lifestyle for me. One cool thing was this week I was notified that I had over, I had achieved 250 fasts in a row and that is, a, so a streak of 250 fasts and that's almost exactly since when I started. I think there was I started, I didn't track on my app for a day or two, and then I did it again, and I I wasn't sure if I was going to use an app or not, but I have actually really enjoyed starting and stopping my, my clock. I average right around um, a two and a half hour eating window in all of those 250 fasts, so I have very um, small eating window for the most part, and that's honestly what has really um, worked well for me. I have considered having larger eating windows, especially as I'm getting to my goal weight and the weight has really slowed down. I am, I have considered, should I see if having a longer eating window is something I can do? But I, but I'm hesitant because in the shorter eating window, I really feel free to eat whatever I want in whatever quantity I want and the time is a very natural boundary. So if I'm only eating from two in the afternoon to um, five, you know, I have a three hour eating window, you can only eat so much. Like even myself, someone with a very uh, healthy appetite and someone that really enjoys eating, I, I couldn't sit down and eat, you know, 16 Big Macs in that time, even if I wanted to. But I become full, I close my window, and then I'm satisfied, and I easily fast to the next day. Now, that doesn't mean every single day is super easy, but the more I do it, it actually isn't that hard. So I don't get, you know, super big hungry pains throughout the day. And there are days where I have a six-hour eating window just because I feel like my body needs it. I tend to feel like I need it closer to my period coming. Um, but I just listen to that, but for the most part, Having a two, two and a half hour eating window really has worked well for me. And averages just mean that some days I have a 30 minute eating window and some days I have a six hour eating window. But when you add it all together and you divide by the number of fasts, it turns out about two and a half hour eating window. So of course I don't sit here and make myself only have two and a half hours. I go by how I feel, but that is what my average is and really where I've seen success. And as I say, I've seen success. I consider not gaining weight successful. I consider feeling satisfied and f the freedom successful. I really have not lost much weight since early December. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I did not weigh myself in November. No way November is what I titled it. And I got on the scale like December 2nd, I think, and it was a down day and I weighed 155. So from December 2nd, maybe 3rd, to March 26th, 
I've only gone from 155 to 150.4. Both of them are down days, which means it's the lowest that I'm gonna weigh myself. Um, so that's not obvious. So obviously in that, what, probably 14, 15 week time frame, I've lost just over four pounds. But at the same time, I'm enjoying myself. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself of anything. I'm eating all the foods that I love and I have the flexibility to make this lifestyle fit me. I, I still only drink black coffee that's not flavored or sparkling water or plain iced water without any flavorings in it. That's all I drink. So if I have a two and a half hour eating window, that means 21 and a half hours of every single day, I'm only drinking black coffee or plain water. And I actually really enjoy both of those options. So from December through now, probably 14 or 15 weeks, I didn't count. I've only lost a little over four pounds, which is much slower than the start of my journey. I thought for sure by late March, how I started that I would be sitting in a size four and be at the low 140s. Obviously I don't really know where I'm gonna go. In my mind, I just want to get there so that I can buy new clothes. I'm wearing clothes that don't fit me the best right now, and it's not horrible, but I definitely could upgrade some of my clothing. I just don't want to until I land where I think I'm gonna be. I just don't feel like it's there yet. I don't know where it's gonna be, but I definitely think it's gonna be in the 140s. Um, I am five foot 10, so I'm tall, and Early, before I had kids, before I really dealt with weight issues much, I always was in the 130s or the 140s. So all throughout high school and college, I was pretty thin. I've never been a super curvy woman. I do have hips for days, can't get away for that, but I've never been one with like a large chest. So I definitely think I will be in the 140s before I declare maintenance, but I'm obviously pretty close at 150.4. So what I'm currently doing is still one down day a week. Almost always it's a 500 calorie down day. Sometimes I do the full down day where I don't eat anything, but I, for the most part, do the 500 calories. I've shared with you guys before what a down day and an up day is. I've shared with you some of my favorite 500 calorie down day meals. I actually have some more that I've discovered. So I will be making more of those videos in the future. Let me know in the comments if you like those, but I do that once a week. I don't do it on the same day. I kind of fit it in whatever fits my schedule. So if I'm making my family something I don't necessarily love to eat, that's a great 500 calorie down day. If my kids are gonna be staying the night at grandparents' house and I don't have to make a family meal, that's easy to do a 500 calorie down day. I just try to fit it in the best way I can. And then I have an up day. Another reason I'm flexible with my down day and my up day is because sometimes it's beneficial to have an up day, say on your child's birthday where you might be having cake later in the night and dinner and going out to eat for lunch or something. Say I have a friend that wants to have lunch and we could have lunch together and then I could still eat dinner with my family. I'll make sure that that's an update so I have a down day before that. So I'm super flexible in my days. I just make sure I get one down day a week, whatever fits my schedule best. For, and from there, I just have a minimum 18 hours of every single fast. Out of my 250, well, I'm past 250. I hit it earlier this week. Out of, say, my 254 fasts in a row, only three of them I've ever ended less than 18 hours. And the three that were less than 18 hours were 17 hours and some minutes, but it just was more of a benefit to me to open my eating window to participate in meeting my husband for lunch or I was camping. So I really, really hold dear to the 18 hours. I, I've been asked or talked with other intermittent fasters as far as what the hardest part of intermittent fasting is. And what I struggle with the most is really just taking advantage of the flexibility. I will say, oh yeah, tonight I'm gonna s snack with my husband while we watch a movie. But then I wanna close my window like I normally do. And it's more about knowing the hours and thinking of it. And I definitely am a data person, so I just like, hey, if I close my window now and I don't wait two hours to have a snack with him, that's two hours into my fast. And it's just hard for me to sometimes just let go of that feeling and to be flexible with it. Um, but I'm getting better at it. You know, nine months in, I'm still a new intermittent faster. I spent 33 years of my life not fasting, so less than a year fasting. I'm obviously a work in progress. But without a doubt, my absolute favorite part of intermittent fasting nine months in is the freedom I feel. 
When I was reading Fast Feast Repeat, one part of the book, I need to find where it is in the book so I can give you guys a page reference, said decision fatigue is real. Living an intermittent fasting lifestyle removes the decision fatigue for me. I either am in my window or I'm not. I'm either fasting or I'm in my eating window. And then I don't have to think, should I have, should I have one handful of pistachios or should I not? Should I um, nibble on this peanut butter and jelly sandwich that my son only ate half of or not? And I just don't think of it. I'm either eating or I'm not. And then when I am eating, I don't have to, how many calories are in this? Will I feel bad if I eat this later? Is this too much? Should I do that? Will I feel bad? Because in my eating window, I just give myself freedom. And that doesn't mean I sit there eating lard every every bite for two and a half hours. That just means that I don't allow myself to fret about what I am eating. So if a donut sounds good, I'll eat it. Do I eat donuts um, most days of the week? No, of course not. But if I want one or one's available, I don't deny myself. And that really sets my mind free and gives me the freedom to enjoy it. So I have shared with you guys that I have officially lost 30 pounds, which is very exciting for me. I'm definitely in the healthy weight range, but for my personal body and the way I grew up pretty thin, I know that I have a little bit more I could lose and I probably will lose. I'm just definitely doing it at a lower pace now. I am horrible about measuring, but I did take a few more measurements and the most exciting to me was I've lost over seven inches on my hips which is always my, which was always like my least favorite area. I've, my shoulders and my arms were the last place to ever gain weight. My chest always was small, didn't really gain weight, but then I was a pear shape. So my hips and all the surrounding areas just balloon out when I gain weight and losing seven inches is pretty astonishing. So I've lost over seven inches on my hips. That was the biggest metric I've lost inches everywhere else. Of course, if I lose 30 pounds, I'm losing inches. So I'm going to share with you guys some comparison pictures. I'll put a picture between month eight and nine. And I'll also share with you guys some before and after pictures, like from after my initial 28 day start, I've been taking pictures in the same outfit ever since week four. And I'm going to just give you guys some comparison photos here. I will label them what I'm comparing. and seeing more pictures you can check out this video right here where I share with you from the very beginning through my six months a week by week photo where I share with you front side and back and also you can check out 500 calorie meal ideas right here I hope you are doing well in your intermittent fasting journey I'd love to connect with you whether here or on Instagram thank you so much for watching ciao down and ciao